further step to understanding loops, I will be creating a blinking text. It kind of like a text animation that blinks. Okay. All right. So let's get started. All right. So I'm just going to create a new. Sorry, I said create. I'm going to create a new. Oops. I'm going to create a new sprite. And that sprite is going to be a text. All right. So. Well, maybe probably we want to create a guessing game. That's another idea. Okay, I could actually do that in the next video. A guessing game. A guessing game for teenagers. Teenagers. And then you could actually just say um, press space to start. All right, this is kind of like it's going to be our introduction. And then we want it to have a blinking effect. All right, we're going to be using loops to explain this. All right, let's just make sure we arrange our sprites in the center. This is a sprite. We actually created a text sprite. All right, so it's looking good. So in this uh, video, I want this text to blink, to have a blinking effect. So how do we achieve that? Okay, let's start with our event. You can pick any of this event, but I'm going to be picking when flag is clicked. So when flag is clicked, what should we do? Now let's break it down. It's better we break down our steps and then we look at what to do to actually achieve that. So now how do we achieve that blinking effect? So to make it blink, it actually needs to go off and then come back. Is that not so? It goes off and then come back. Keeps going off. Kind of like a repetitive process. Okay? So it will go off, wait for a while, then come back. Go off, wait for a while, come back. So obviously we already know the steps we are going to repeat. Okay, now let's just come to repeat. We're going to pick repeat now. It depends on how many times we want to repeat it. Maybe probably 100 times. If you want to repeat it 100 times, see 100. And then all we're going to be repeating would be go to loose and then say, let it go off, that is hide. Let it go off, hide, and then wait for a while. You could actually tell it to wait for, you could actually tell it to wait for um, um, 0 0.5 seconds, and then show. I think that's the step was repeating, right? And then show. I think hide, and then wait again for another 0 0.5 seconds and that will be all so now this would create a blinking effect and then we achieve this actually using loops now we're just looping this process hide wait show wait 100 times and then our text would blink now let's check it out so if i click on flag it starts blinking so i've been able to create a blinking effect using loops using the repeat loop okay you could actually use the second loop called forever loop the only difference is just that this will repeat the loop endlessly until the computer memory becomes full so when you do this it repeats it endlessly until the computer memory becomes full okay all right so i am going to end this video right here and i'm going to continue with this video i would like to create a guessing game so i will show you more deeper ways to implement loops using the guessing game so stay tuned in the next video for the next video while when i show you how to create a guessing game please remember to subscribe like and comment okay and tell your friends about flourish field stay blessed and keep flourishing See you in the next video.